All right, Matt Carpenter, he has accepted his player option, $5.5 million for the 2024 season. This was the easiest decision probably of his lifetime to accept this contract, accept the 2024 five over $5 million coming to him. I mean, when you hit 176 and you can get $5 million still for the next season, I mean, that's pretty good. Will he be on the Padres roster for the majority of the season? Not so sure about that. But at minimum, they would give him a shot in spring training and see what could happen. Maybe he ends up accepting a spot in El Paso if they can even do that. But, I mean, Bob Melvin clearly didn't want this guy on the roster. Didn't play him for almost a month, I think it was, at one point this past season. He did not help this team. At the beginning of the year, I guess he helped. He was like second in RBI on the team through the first month or so of the year. I think he had 16 runs driven in. But then after that, it fell off the cliff. Then he wasn't playing. And then you're going to, what? You're going to expect him to produce at the plate when he hasn't hit. He hasn't taken an at-bat off of big league pitching in a game in weeks. Like, he just wasn't going to succeed there. Uh, AJ wanted him to be on the roster. Bob sure seems like he did not want him on the roster. And I understand that. Like, Bob's trying to win. He wants to have... Um, versatility on that bench and Matt Carpenter does not give you versatility on that bench but I mean this is the move that AJ made he decided to take a, a little bit of a risk and I like the creativity of the contract I was like hey maybe he this is the real Matt Carpenter what he found in the with the Yankees hey maybe he could play first he could play he could DH he could pinch hit and he can hit some bombs for the Padres well didn't really do a whole lot of that with this Padres team and now they're stuck paying him over $5 million. The question for me with Matt Carpenter, I don't see him being on this Padres roster for the majority of 2024. Maybe he's on it at some point. But for me, the big question, we knew Matt Carpenter was going to take this contract, obviously, right? He'd be dumb to not take five over $5 million with the Padres based on his production this past season. I mean, I'd love to do that, right? Suck at your job or production wise, right? And you still get over $5 million the next year guaranteed, like sign me up. So, you know, this is nothing personally against Matt Carpenter. It's, again, it seemed like he was a, a great teammate helping guys, even when he was struggling and he wasn't playing, he was still helping um, teammates with preparation and questions. And he was still going out there and taking fielding and batting practice, uh, preparing as if he was going to play that day when he knew he wasn't. Uh, but the big question with Carp is can the Padres find a way to attach him to a trade this offseason? Because I think that's the only way that you could maybe not have to pay over $5 million to Carp next year. And with this team trying to trim payroll, get it down maybe even $50 million, down to $200 million from over $250 million, which is where it was this past year. Every little million dollar you know, contract or $5 million contract, whatever, Tim Hill, you can put in that group as well. Like it all counts. It all they're all gonna take that into account. So Juan Soto, right? It's very easy for the Padres to get down, or much easier, I should say. I shouldn't say very easy, but it would be much easier for the Padres to get down to that two hundred million dollar number if they were to deal Juan Soto. And you're not gonna get back nearly as much as what you gave up for Juan Soto. So maybe the Padres are like, hey, give us a major league piece that can help. Give us a top prospect. And you, if you want Juan Soto, Team X, Yankees, whoever, you have to take on Matt Carpenter's contract as well. Maybe they just do that, and that's how they can get out of that five-plus million dollars, and they have room to spend on a better player, someone that fits the roster better, someone that can play multiple positions, Maybe you just have Jerks and Profar replace Matt Carpenter on the roster this next season. Profar makes like the close to the veteran minimum or whatever, and you can save money that way. You find a way to have Carpenter's contract be attached to a trade. Maybe it's not Soto. Maybe it's someone else. But I think A.J. Preller wanted Carpenter to stay on this team, not because he like believed that he was going to be amazing in 2023 if he got a chance, but because he was trying to save five plus million dollars in 2024 by when this off season comes around try to attach him to a trade that's why aj wanted him to stay on the roster in my opinion but bob didn't care about that he was trying to win he wanted the best roster and matt carpenter wasn't helping the team so we'll see what happens with carp 
If you missed it yesterday, Seth Lugo, he declined his player option. So the Padres could bring him back or they could offer him a qualifying offer, but that's a big risk. And he's not, they don't want to pay him $20 million for one year. So I don't think that they're going to offer him that. They'll offer the qualifying offer probably to Hayter, to Snell, and that's it. Um, so Lugo is going to be a free agent. Matt Carpenter under contract through 2024. We'll see what happens there. The next two are Nick Martinez and Michael Walker. Those guys have club options, $16 million, both of them. If those are declined, those turn into player options. And probably Waka will decline his. Not so sure about Nick. If they do decline those, then they go into free agency as well. And that's even more guys that the Padres have to replace, assuming that they don't bring those guys back. Um, I would think that between Waka, Lugo, and Martinez, at least one of them returns. I'd like to see Nick return. I'd like to see Lugo return. I'd be fine if Walker returns, but don't know how much he's going to command. So yeah, that's what we got. And then there's obviously a ton more of free agents, but I wouldn't be surprised if pretty much all of those guys that were named free agents yesterday, pretty much all of those guys, I'd be fine if they don't return in 2024. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Matt Carpenter, do you think the Padres can find a trade for him? Do you believe that there's somehow like somehow he can bounce back next year i don't see it happening but who knows